Thank you, Natalie. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> We've heard the word exciting a few times today, and that's what I woke up with was, what an exciting day. Uh, what a beautiful day as well. I love this atrium and the sun shining, <clears throat> shining in on us. Um, for those who are at the donor accountability uh, about a month and a bit ago, I apologize, you're going to hear a, a bit of the same story, but I want to share this with the balance of the people in the room. Um, it was close to 60 years ago that a group of people in this community, uh, I'll put them forward as leaders in their community at that time, began the dialogue around the need for a hospital. You could envision the city that time, 50,000 or so people, no hospital, no facility for health care on the island. Um, that group started that dialogue. Uh, in 1962, the city of Richmond got together and they had a vote. They had a vote on the need for a hospital. Uh, the city and its residents voted overwhelmingly in favor of a new facility, 93% in fact. And although it seems logical that people that don't have a hospital would vote in favor, what's unique about that is that they voted with their own pocketbooks. They voted through an increase of property taxes to pay for the facility. Now the city and its residents weren't the only ones to participate. The province participated, the federal government participated. But collectively they worked together and in 1966, this hospital that you see today was built. Um, as touched on already, and fast forward, today here we are, our population is more than quadrupled. Every day it grows, towers going up all around us, population increasing, and for large part, our facility remains the same. The facility is, to be frank, even though this space you're in right now is beautiful, the facility is outdated in so many ways. It's not reflective of the care that's given here by the people who work here, and that's what we want to change. Um, I've had the great pleasure over the last six or so years in serving on this board to spend time in the hospital, uh, on donor tours, on um, foundation tours and so forth, getting to meet many of the people that work here, but also to understand you know, the facilities in behind and what they do. Uh, also, you know, a lot of us take for granted that this hospital is here in our community. Uh, I have a growing family. I have three young children. I have two uh, aging parents that live in the community. And I'd, I'd like to say we don't use the facility often, but it seems between cuts and bruises and bangs and aging of my parents that we use this facility more and more. And it's such a critical element of our community. Um, about three or four years ago, we began a dialogue with VCH. They were doing their planning, processing, and the tower, specifically the North Tower, was one of the highest priorities on their list, the need for replacement. We've heard about the seismic issues, we've heard about some of the facility limitations, but it was very clear that the replacement of this tower was one of the top priorities. So us as a foundation, we began to work, and we've really rebuilt ourselves over the last three to four years under Natalie's leadership and her building of her team. And it's a, for those that don't know, it's a great team, a great team of people that are working very hard to move these initiatives forward. But we've taken steps as a foundation to be ready for this next step. Um, we believe and we know that we're gonna play a critical role and a vital role in this project moving forward. And in today's environment, people can sit back and think, oh, it's the government, or oh, it's their issue. It isn't their issue, it's everybody's issue. And we all need to play a role in that. Um, capital projects like this are significant. There's competition for many different jurisdictions for dollars. But collectively, if we work together, we can make this happen. Um, and I, I, I challenge and share with all of you, I think everybody in this room has a role to play in some capacity. Um, when I look back uh, 50 years ago, and uh, I'm going to single her out a little bit again, poor Barb. Um, one of our uh, uh, board members on the foundation was part of the group that began that dialogue way back then. And it was that work and commitment of those people coming together. And I look around the room today, and there's a similar group of people and a similar, similar group of leaders that are ready and willing to get behind this important initiative. So. Um, what I can tell you is the foundation and the team, we have a great board, we have a great staff, as I've already touched on. We are ready to play our role in this, and we look forward to others joining us. So in closing, I would like to thank the province, uh, Vancouver Coastal Health, the city of Richmond, um, the great physicians and staff and members of the community that work here. Uh, a nod to the, uh, the foundation staff again, 
board members I share. It's a privilege to, uh, to serve with you. And lastly, and uh, I don't want to say most importantly, but the community and our donors. Uh, again, without you, this doesn't happen. We don't get to this milestone here today. And uh, I look forward to sharing, uh, sharing many more milestones on this very important project with you all. Thank you.